Hey, I have such an exciting video blog and podcast for you. This is one of those that you really want to watch instead of listen to because it's a get ready with me. It is such an exciting day. First of all, forgive the voice. I just came out of what is probably three straight weeks of preaching every day. And you know, it's not really the preaching that takes my voice away because I know how to speak and not lose my voice. It is the after preaching ministry at the altar, praying one-on-one for people above the noise of people who are working shipping sometimes we I end up straining my voice trying to get that person to hear what the the Lord is saying to them and that's believe it or not where I lose my voice so I had a big conference this weekend and then came back and on Saturday night and then preached at my church first thing on Sunday morning so that's why I sound like this but I hope it's okay I hope you can still understand it's why I'm gonna talk less and show you what I've been waiting so long to show you which is a makeup look with my two favorite new palettes girls we've waited and they're finally here i get to introduce you get ready to the brand new preacher girl eyeshadow palettes that we waited so long for and here they are Okay, first of all, if you're new to the Preacher Girl community, this is uh, the, the third and fourth palettes that we have. The, the first two, which were the Preacher Girl Classic and Rebel, are already discontinued. We've sold out, I think, of most, if not all of them. The Classic for sure is gone. And these two are, are Riot and Aleph palettes. I'm gonna introduce you to these. You're gonna love them. So, um, and then I'm gonna show you a quick and easy everyday makeup look with with these colors so if you're ready let's get started i'll give you a little bit i'll talk you through it as i do the makeup but first let me introduce you this palette is called aleph and aleph is the hebrew um word or the hebrew letter a so it's the equivalent of our letter a but it's the letter aleph and it's where the you get the aleph bet the hebrew a b's um alphabet and so aleph is uh, the beginning. It is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, which if you know anything about Hebrew, um, every word, every word has a numerical value. Every letter of the alphabet has a numerical value as well as a picture and a word attached to it. So the letter A or Aleph is not just a letter like it is in English. It means so much more than just a letter. And um, we're not going to go into all of that right now, but I call this palette Aleph or A or beginning because it is a neutral palette. So I try to put all uh, an array of skin tones in this for those girls who like neutral colors, for those girls who don't like, you know, like me, all the extravagant and bright colors, but you're really, you like muted and classic colors. So we started with the um, the darkest darks and went to the lightest lights, but I just want you to feast your eyes on these neutral colors. They're beautiful. And um, I tested the skin tones of the girls in my office, starting from the fairest to the darkest to make sure that everybody um, is is one represented but two with a combination of two or more of these you can find your perfect match so this is Aleph and I called it that because I was thinking about when God created the heavens and the earth and then he made man out of the dust of the ground so these are dust colors these are ground colors and it will perfectly match some part of your skin tone so these two my skin shade would fall in this medium section right here but um, I want to tell you, um, just read the names to you because they're so beautiful. We have porcelain and almond and taffy. Those are the top three on the top row. And then we have peach and caramel and chestnut. And then on the bottom with these rich, rich darks, we have mocha and Nubian and ebony. And so I know, I, I already know my girls that, that um, some of you are going to just this is gonna be done before you know it. Everybody finds their perfect and favorite colors and then they use them up, all right? So I'm gonna use these in a little bit and show you uh, just an everyday, really easy, neutral palette look. But this second one here, now this is the pièce de résistance. This is the amazing one. This is the one that makes my girls flip. 
You know, if you are a colorful person, if you are not afraid to use a little bit of color in your eyes and on your eyes and stuff like that, you're gonna love this one. I call this one Riot. And Riot is really, it was based on a set of revival services that we had at Hope NYC, my church this year in March, and it was spectacular. And the Spirit of the Lord uh, really put a riot in my spirit. A riot stands for revival in our time, because I believe in this day, that is what God is pouring out on his church. And so I named the palette that because the colors are riotous, they're just crazy. And I named the colors after the sermons that were preached during that riot. During that riot, we had some of the most amazing speakers in the world. But let me read the back of it for you. It says it's a palette designed for the girl who refuses to be intimidated by the masses and appreciates her uniqueness. She knows who she is because God has already established his image and ingrained his fingers on her being. You are a woman created in the image of God. Revival in our time gives you an avenue to express your God-given identity, individuality, and creativity. The swipe of every color with one swipe, that beauty that is just you goes against the herd mentality and shouts, I am who God says I am and not who you say I am, not who the world says I am. You are honored, you are beloved, and you're a daughter of God. So I want to read you the names of these colors. Let me give you a little sneak peek. Look at that. I love them and I really, really hope that that you that, that the camera really does this justice because the colors are amazing. I could swatch them all, but I'll just pick a few and show you. I'll I, I can show you this orange. And if I just swatch this on my arm right here, I, I don't know if you can see that color payoff. I know you probably can't see it there. Okay, and let me show you this blue. I still have some of that orange on there, but what? Just a little, little smudge of it. Um, this teal is one of my right now favorite. Oh. So uh, let me tell you the names of these colors um, because the names are just as important to me as the colors themselves. The first green one here, the, the beautiful green color at the top, um, that one is called Eden. And then the orange one, is believe, we have breathe, we have tenacious, and we have uncancel. Everybody's all about canceling culture, canceling everything, and we, we, we've decided that we will uncancel the church, we will uncancel the word of God, and everything that society and culture says that doesn't fit anymore, as long as God says it, nobody can cancel it. And then underneath here, we have female, and I made it pink on purpose. I know that's stereotypical, but sometimes, you know, we just need to identify that way. And gone are the really easy days when you put your little girl in pink and people knew it was a girl, right? And now gender fluidity and all this stuff has made that so obsolete that people are afraid to dress their baby girls in pink. Stop the nonsense and just understand that being female is an honor. Being male is an honor and it's a privilege God gave us. The green is freedom. And this blue one is uproar. I love uproar. I love the the, the the hue in this so much. I love it so much. Um, and because the color is so bold and and so bright, this one is Kail, and it of course comes from the the um, Eshet Kail, which means a warrior woman or a woman of valor, and that's where that comes from. This this um, orangey brown is persist because you can't riot for a minute. It's a very persistent fight against the kingdom of darkness. I love this yellow and I called it edge because it not only represents the edge of the sword, which always needs to stay sharp, but it means that if you're in Christ, you have an edge. This one here is one of the few metallics that I have in the palette. And I, it's a bronzy metallic and I called it Ebenezer and that's this is this this Ebenezer was named after Pastor Amanda Krebs sermon on Ebenezer after she preached that I actually went out and found and bought a huge rock and placed it outside my church at the cornerstone because because um 
it's our Ebenezer. It's so far the Lord has been with us and he has taken us through. And I just thought that the metallic was such a good representation of that rock. Right here we have fierce, for obvious reasons. It's a red, it's a pink red, a hot pink red. Not totally red, not totally pink. I love that color. This one here is another one of my favorites. This, this tea, like I said, that I swatched earlier, it's called Battle Axe. And that was based on Pastor Jason's sermon on the Battle Axe. You are God's Battle Axe. I think it's such a bold color and it could be difficult to wear if you're not a brave person like a Battle Axe. You've got an edge and you are sharp and you're heavy. Now this one right here, it's such a surprise in the palette. It's a um, sparkling green. Ugh. You ready for this? This is gonna rock your boat all the way to I don't know where. What is happening right now? Do you see that? Ah! Every time I swatch it, I think about my Christmas parade that's coming up. And I put it in there. I called it Disturb. Because you wear this, you're going to disturb everything. I mean, especially a religious spirit. <laughs> You're gonna disturb them. They're gonna be like, why are you wearing that color? I wouldn't suggest wearing that every day. Mm -mm. I'd say keep it for parade day, but I just put it in there because it disturbs the, almost disturbs the, the just the calmness and the flow of those colors. And it's just like, bam, in your face. And I think that's what we as women of God need to be in the devil's face these days. We just need to say like, dude, I'm here. I'm here to upset your apple cart. I'm not that kind of Christian girl that's gonna sit by and watch you take our family, take our children, disturb my peace. I'll disturb your peace before you disturb mine. That's kind of like my train of thought. Anyway, so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit um, while I show you this really easy everyday eye look. You can wear this to work. It's gonna take you about five minutes and then I'll show you how you can glam it up a little bit. Um, so. Oh, by the way, if you buy, I think in the store right now, there is a package deal with, with um, the Preacher Girl store with this package, with both palettes, as well as all of these amazing brushes, this whole set right here. I don't know if we still have them. Um, you can check, it's preachergirl.com slash shop. And you can see if it's still available, but these are such great quality brushes. I love them. And I made sure I got a set when we bought them. Um, for the store. All right, so I'm gonna show you what to do. I would, this is really a powder brush, but it's also a really great brush to do a sweep of uh, a wash of color, like a base, right? Um, I'm gonna dip in um, pecan right here. If you're from the South, you might say pecan. And just swipe over my whole eye like this. Now, if you're like not in a hurry, I suggest maybe using a smaller brush to do that. But if you're like on your way to work or school, this will do. Okay, so just swipe over your whole eyelid like that. Then you wanna go in with um, a fluffy brush like this one. There's no number on this, I don't think. These brushes aren't numbered, so. <clears throat> like this one. It comes in the in this um, preacher girl package, and I'm gonna go in, in with taffy. That's this third one on the top row right here, right? And so you get a little bit on the brush there, and then in a swirling motion, starting here, I'm gonna go just below the brow bone, like this, and you want to do circular and light motions. Now here's a trick, especially if you're over 35, right? You want When you reach the end of your eyebrow right here, you wanna kinda swirl out and up. And what that does, it, it lifts your eye up a little bit and gives you that almond kind of shape. Um, so this, this um, pink color that we did here, a lot of people, and I do it a lot too, do, um, use a contour color and but I think a pink adds such a rosy glow for the daytime it's barely noticeable but do it anyway just trust me so you come up um, along the corner and up into your hairline not all the way but a little bit up See? <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, by the way, this should take 30 seconds. But I just like, I do like the way it feels when <laughs> this is so therapeutic to me that I can take a long time to do this. Okay, when you're done with that and quickly just, there's a, uh, another soft point brush, this one. Now you wanna take this pointy brush with the, with the tip like this, the soft pointy brush. I'm going with Nubian, that's this one at the bottom. Now here's a trick I wanna show you. Inside of this, um, this palette, there's a, a fallout cover. It's plastic, don't throw it away, okay? It's not just good to keep the shadow palette clean. You wanna take this clear piece of plastic and put it along the edge of your eye. I want you to follow the bottom lid. You see how it curves like that? Continue the curve up like this and just put it alongside your eye. Wow, this Nubian is really pigmented. And you wanna bring this inner line in a little bit above your crease, right? So you see how you have that wing that it was created, how long did I take? Five seconds. And I know it's kind of harsh right now, but we're gonna fix that in a second. Let's just do the other side. And then I take the same brush and I just blend that out. Make sure there are no harsh lines. Yeah, so while, while this is happening, I wanna just tell you a little story. When I was younger, um, oh, by the way, this slightly fatter brush here would be a really, really good blending brush. So after you use this pointy brush, to add the color, use this fluffier brush to just blend. I loved makeup ever since I was a little girl, but because of religious reasons, I couldn't wear it and it wouldn't be allowed and I would get in trouble. So I used to grind up chalk, like sidewalk chalk, and just um, put it on my eye eyelids and use marker to color my fingernails. <laughs> And um, the thought that I would ever one day be able to pick colors that go in a palette or anything like that never occurred to me. What are the chances that such, and and when I get to pick the colors that I wanna wear and then other, see that other people wanna wear those too, that is such a big deal. It's such a big deal for me. All right, so, and I remember we're doing a daytime look today. I'm just gonna take this pointy, this, um, domed fluffy brush right here from the palette and then i'm gonna go in with this almond color in the middle on the top so far i've only used the aleph palette right and i'm gonna go right under my brow bone oh my gosh what a stunning color right underneath my brow bone brow bone on the highest point right here and just highlight that and it just accentuates that high point of your eyebrow. And then just blend that out with your fluffy brush. Now, for most of the times for daytime, um, I won't do any more color. I'll take my ring finger like this and swipe it in this white or this almond and just run it across my eyelid like this. So whatever I put on my, the arch of my brows, if it's a matte color, this is exactly what I do every day. It's, most of the times it's a sparkle color, right? But sometimes it's a matte color. If I'm teaching school or if I don't have to record that day, it's just gonna be a matte color like this. Just blend that out. Now, if you wanna go from daytime to 
to evening, you can make these colors darker. I just did it very lightly, but if you'd like to, all you have to do is when you go in with your stencil like this, just be sure to add enough color that the line is more visible, if that makes sense. The same thing on this side. Sorry if my hair is in the way. I love this brush with the crease. Oh, so good. So this is the basic daytime look, but let me show you what happens if you're a daytime girl like me, but you don't mind a little glitter. Right here, um, the uncancel, this one is a specific um, highlight color that I put in this palette on purpose. And I have a little bit of that green in my hand, so let me show you what happens if you take uncancel and gently, okay, not just gently, swipe it on your finger and then put it on your eyelid. Ladies, I'm telling you, it just woo, makes a whole big difference in the way your eyes look that day. Okay, so, um, let me do my eyeliner off camera and then I'll show you how it looks when it's, when it's done. Okay, so this is the finished classic or daytime look. This is what I would do if I was just coming into work um, with a little bit of eyeliner. I, I actually put a little bit of the Nubian on the bottom lid and I didn't wear any mascara down below there. So um, I hope you like this. Now, if I were, if I wanted to just jazz this up a little bit or if I was going out somewhere and um, wanted to do something with one of the colors, let me just show you a quick, quick um, way I would do it. Let's go with that really scary looking um, battle axe, how about that? Because most of you would be like, oh, I could never wear battle axe. It's this beautiful teal color, let's try it. Right, watch this. It's not as scary as you guys think, okay? Um, I would just go in at the corner right here. And this color just makes me want to add more color and not even talk. <laughs> so pretty. Okay, let me do it on the next side. Okay, then you could put it across your whole lid or you can just take this brush and just blend both of them in like this. So it fades into that cancel, uh, uh, uncancel, and then from uncancel to battle axe. And that's how I would wear that teal color. And it doesn't look um, hyper crazy. It doesn't look like too much. And that is how I would wear that teal battle axe color. And I hope you like this look. It would take about, um, this one took what, 10 minutes? And to add a little bit more color, just another minute. So you don't have to spend a whole long, I don't know why people take an hour to do eyeshadow, I really don't know. Um, if you wanna spend a long time blending, make sure you have that kind of time. If not, take your finger, swipe it on your eyelid. These colors are so versatile. I, I, I would love to see the looks you create. If you have the, the palettes, uh, create a look and post it up. Uh, tag me so I can see what you did with the Riot and the Aleph palettes. Maybe I should hold it right side up. 
they're so both so gorgeous ladies thank you for joining me for the video blog today i know it was a little bit different i hope you enjoyed the looks maybe i can do some more um, over the next few weeks and just post them up for you let me see what you can create i love you so much don't you ever forget that if god called you no one can uncall you and you know what else you don't even need a pulpit you just need an eyeshadow an eyeshadow palette no you don't need a pulpit you just need a message